so my first word was ball. Um, that's, that's when my mom knew that I was going to do something with the ball. And growing up, I played all different sports, basketball, soccer, volleyball. Those were my three favorite. I was a gymnast. I could do anything with the ball. My brother used to play outside of my house with me all the time. He's six years older, so he'd always beat me. And I would just chase him around with the soccer ball for hours. And I think that's what, that's what made me love the game, was watching him play. And um, also seeing, seeing Mia Hamm come one time to Nebraska. She was my favorite, all-time favorite player from North Carolina. And at five years old, I, um, I drew a picture saying my dreams to play soccer at North Carolina. And so ever since then, I did my best to make that happen. And it happened. <laughs> I'm impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect coming here because it's a, a new league. We're young, but I think that's a good thing. Their energy, young people's energy that they bring to practice is um, something that I've missed maybe being in the U.S. League. Um, everyone wants to get better. We have a cool environment. And Rich, our coach, definitely puts that into our brains. Like, we can be one of the best teams in the league if we just put in the work. Um, we live together, we're like a family, and so we go through the ups and downs together, just like a family does. And we're learning a lot from each other. Um, Kendall Fletcher, she's the oldest, the oldest one out of the group, and I've learned from her since well, it feels like it's been four years, but it's been a year. She was with the rain with me, and we watch video together, and we just we work out all the little kinks of our team, and we travel and see Australia together. So that's awesome too. It is truly an awesome experience. Like traveling, doing what I love, getting paid for what I love, love it here, um, and just seeing the world through soccer. It's awesome. Obviously, I want to play for the U.S. one day. Um, and I make a lot of dreams, and I make that happen. So I don't think there's, um, there's impossible dreams. So I, I definitely think that's still, it's still in for me.